a big D here and I'm gonna show off some of my video games that I picked up in the last three days. There's about 60 games. Um, I collect cards and video games. I have a massive collection that I'll eventually show. So, let's get started. I picked up a sealed copy of Pocket Bike Grace for the 360. It was 50 cents. PlayStation 2 Star Ocean until the end of time. It's uh, two discs, very mint. Besides this outer box thing, this actually somebody who went into the gaming store that's in town, where I've seen before in my college town. She uh sold it. I asked her how much she wanted. And he was gonna the game store owner was Alan was gonna give her three bucks for it. I gave her five. And I gave her in cash instead of credit, so um for N sixty four I picked up NBA Courtside too. Which is a game that I didn't have. Um Basically, I have 150 more games to get for the 64. All these 64 games are duplicates. I just picked them up because they were cheap. Command and Conquer. Mission Impossible. Two of them, actually. So, NBA Courtside 2, couple of Mission Impossibles, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, two of those also, Turok Rage Wars, I got this from a friend of mine, I cleaned the game for him and he gave it to me. Um, so the first two, if you couldn't see them, were Star Ocean until the end of time for PS2 and a sealed pocket bike racer. On to NES. Yes, Solomon's Key. Flying Dragon. Atari Warriors 2, Victory Road. Those are the ones I didn't have already. And then these are the ones that are duplicates that I picked up and they were cheap also. We have Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. RBI Baseball for 10 yen. Baseball, I have like 12 of these. Pro Wrestling. Five screw variant. Mark. Sway along. And Skater Guy. I also got one Super Nintendo game. It's just a duplicate anyway, Super Scope 6. Um, I guess on the PS1, and there's a lot of them. First, I got a Greatest Hits Chrono Cross. Very great condition. Tenchu, Stealth Assassin, the Black Label version. Ninja Shadow of Darkness, it's mint. NASCAR Racing. NFL Game Day 2000. 
Oh, also, I have 450 PS1 games. Like, unique ones. Like, different games, different versions. Like, if there's a collector's version and Black Label and the Greatest Hits. If you want to count duplicates, I have probably a thousand. Contender 2. Jeopardy. These are all complete, by the way. WWF Attitude. World Cup Golf Professional Edition. Grace Hits WWF Warzone. A very mint fear effect. All four discs are mint. Grace Hits Resident Evil Director's Cut. Resident Evil are my favorite games ever. So, I buy more of them, because this is a duplicate anyway. I have like five Resident Evil 3s. <laughs> Final Fantasy 9, Black Label. Final Fantasy 8, Black Label. Um, <clears throat> some more duplicates. Black Label Pac-Man World. The mint disc, black label Dino Crisis with the mint disc, the greatest hits driver, NFL Blitz. This is disc only. It's in the wrong case. NBA Shootout '97. It's also disc only in the wrong case. It's in like an MLB case or something. Gran Turismo 2. Best Ops Stealth Patrol. Um, and I have these other two stacks back here. This stack is also duplicates of what I already have. Garage Warriors. The Italian Job. 007 the world is not enough. This is a great game. Namco Museum Volume 3. Greatest Hits. Another great game. This is Mint. I think the Golden Eye is too. Or 007 the world is not enough is. Star Wars Episode 1. The Phantom Menace. Hardcore 4x4. I actually got two of these. This one's last mint, including the case. The other one's gonna stay in the collection. This one's just for sale. It's a fighting force. Time crisis. And asteroids. The uh, manual looks faded from sunlight or something. Also, any of these duplicates that I say I have are for sale. If you were wanting to buy them, I have prices. I won't really negotiate at all. Except that Resident Evil is not for sale. Also, this stack is not for sale. These are uh, more stuff for my collection. I have a DEFCOM 5 long box. No manual, sadly.